Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today it's Wednesday and we are in the month of October and that means spooky month on this channel. So we are doing Spooktober in The Sims 4. And that will mean that every week you will get two Halloween based builds from me. And last Monday we did the uh, murder house from American Horror Story. And today we are building the Adams Family Home. And I mean, if you don't know what the Adams Family is, um, I don't know under what rock you've been living, but the Adams Family is uh, a family and they basically, they're pretty weird and grim and it's really funny. Um, I love it. I've grown up with it as a kid. Like my mom always used to watch it with me and I absolutely love the Adams Family. And this home, there are like lots of different versions of the home. The outside is mostly pretty similar. Uh, it's like this old kind of... Victorian castle, a bit, a little bit like uh, Vlad, you know, Vlad the Vampire. Not the one that we have in The Sims, but like the real one, like his castle, something some similar style to that. And they have like a series in the 60s, they had a movie, I think in the 60s as well. And then they had like three movies in the 1990s. And I watched those, those are amazing. And then there were some uh, cartoon, of the uh, like cartoon series of the Adams Family, and then you had last year, I believe, you had the Adams Family animation in the cinemas, at least where I lived. And last year, um, I also went to the Adams Family musical. And this home and everything you will see in there is based off that musical and the way it was performed in the Netherlands. Um, I don't know if. Like the Adam's Family musical probably was there in multiple languages, but I'm not sure if it's the real, like the same story. All like the sets have been the same, like all the well, like it's like the set basically. I'm sorry, I couldn't come out of my words for a moment. So this home is built or uh, well, based upon the set of the Dutch musical, and I absolutely love it. Like love, love, loved it. It was such an amazing musical. If you ever have the opportunity to go to the Amazon Family Musical, do it. It is really, really worth it and it's so, so fun and it's just the songs. Wow. I can't unfortunately play them under this speed build because, um, you know, copyright claims and I don't want to get a strike on my channel. But otherwise I would have totally done that because I love the Adams Family. My personal favorite is Uncle Fester and Uncle Fester is like this weird guy. Just, just call him a weird guy. And like he is, he can, how do you explain it? Like whenever he puts like light bulbs in his mouth, they suddenly go on. And in the movies of the 90s, he is played by um, Christopher Lloyd, I think his name is. And that is also the one that plays um, Doc Emmett Brown in Back to the Future. And that is the burglar in, um, I can't remember that, uh, Charlie? Like the one about the ghost. I don't remember the name of that. Anyways, like an amazing actor and it's really, really fun and I, I just love it. So I based this upon the, like the exterior at least, I based the exterior upon the home that was the set for the 90s movies. And then the inside I based it upon what I saw in the musical from memory because the musical ended uh, last April. It ended together with our lockdown, so. And it is not coming back, unfortunately. Usually musicals, well, not usually, but a lot of musicals in my country, they play forever and ever and ever. And this one does not. So that kind of sucks for me, but you know, it is what it is. So I didn't have like, obviously I didn't have like pictures and not any recordings of it, but I have my mind and I have a pretty darn good memory. So for the interior, I was pretty much good to go. And then the exterior, I just had a reference picture of the home of the 90s movies and I absolutely love it. And I think that the exterior actually looks pretty freaking good. Like it is taking me some time. I, I had for this video not as much time as the murder house because the murder house was so ridiculously like big. Like if you haven't watched that, go watch it. It will be linked at the end of this uh, video. I will link to Spooktober playlist. And there are now two videos in there. So there's this one, obviously, and then there's one from Murder House. And there will be more videos edits. And also, like, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I will try to incorporate it. I love building in The Sims. I think I'm getting better at it every time. And 
I already thought it was a pretty good building when I started this YouTube channel because otherwise I wouldn't have started this channel. So if you have suggestions, let me know and I will try to see if I can build it and make it so as real as possible. Uh, what was what was I talking about? I can't remember what I was talking about. My mind is just gone after a day. Like I literally just got home from work. I took a shower and now I'm doing the voiceover. So I'm still like recovering from work because it was a pretty busy day. Anyways, um, I really, like I said it before, but I really, really think that the way um, this home is built, it looks so similar to the actual home and I'm really, really happy with it, especially once we are adding these columns because I feel that these columns are just a little bit like a dark grayish. It really makes the build look nice. I honestly, I don't know how else to explain it. It just makes it look nice. And I'm really, really quite proud of the way it just looks. I'm gonna keep saying it, but wow. I also like the uh, the roof of the Adams Family home. It is a flat, a flat roof because uh, Morticia, Adam, uh, not Morticia, Gomez Adams, he actually plays golf on top of the roof. And then he shoots like the ball into his um, neighbor's home, which also um, just happens to be the mayor of the city where they live in. So it's just really funny. Honestly, if you have never watched The Addams Family, I think it's on Netflix, or at least it was like th two weeks ago. They may have removed it, I'm not sure. But two weeks ago it was on Netflix. Um, so make sure you check it out because it's absolutely amazing. Just wow. I love it so much. I can't even begin to comprehend it. It's just amazing. So at the moment we are, well, I mean, I was thinking of starting to do with the, the floor plan, but because of the way that I wanted the stairwell, because this home is like known for having this gigantic stairwell with like two stairs going to the next level. And I really wanted to have that. And I was like, well, how am I gonna like shape it? Because that was actually rather difficult. And then obviously I had the tower. So instead of using stairs, I used ladders because I felt like it was a little bit more spooky. And then we are gonna have the bathroom here in the middle. We're gonna have a little bit of a bigger room. And so we have three bedrooms on the first floor, or actually like the second floor. And then on the third floor, we are going to have uh, three rooms as well. And there will be two bedrooms and one, um, I don't know if you can call it an office, but it's kind of this experimental um, build because in the moves as well, like they're a little bit weird, the Adams family, and they have like a lot of weird inventions that ordinary people just wouldn't get. So I built this room and I put this big cauldron in it and I put some like, I think it is from um, Eco Lifestyle, the maker uh, table, so they could just invent stuff and create stuff there. And I actually felt like it was pretty accurate. I mean, obviously we don't have all the items that they have in the movies, bit it's logical, but we got pretty close. As well as the landscaping, I was thinking, hmm, I could do this entire back backyard and everything. But the premise of the family is that they're a little bit um, weird and a little bit... How does one say this? Um, uh, honestly, I don't know how to say it and sound nice, so I'm just not gonna say it. They're weird and they're kind of dead. So I wanted this to be um, a garden, which you could see like, oh, people live here. But also a garden where you just look at and be like, yeah, the people that live here are pretty weird. And let's not forget that we are also building in Forgotten Hollow, so that the vampire uh, pack is really doing its, just its justice. And also um, that we can actually use all those dead trees. Because you know, in Willow Creek, those trees would look pretty weird. I mean, you can say what you want from The Sims, but um, certain packs are just meant for certain neighborhoods. I mean, imagine putting this weird, dark, dead tree in Sulani. It would not fit. So, pro tip, always build in the world that like fits the landscaping. Don't start doing like Christmas trees in Sulani or palm trees in Forgotten Hollow. It doesn't work like that. Just take my advice. I'm like this pro landscaping uh, person, which obviously you can see from the way I landscaped it. <laughs> the landscaping on this build is pretty much um, well, I don't want to say non-existing, um, but it is pretty much non-existent. It is very mellow, 
also don't really have a back garden because I didn't feel like the Adams family would be the type of person that would spend a lot of time outside except when it's dark. Um, I just really wanted to move on to the interior. So for this interior we are starting off with the main entrance and I wanted this main entrance to be extremely fancy and then I mean extremely fancy. So we are going to use this old rock. Uh, we sized it down a bit so that it actually fits in front of the fireplace and then you know this rug it is pretty worn out and it just I felt like it totally fitted the vibe especially when we have like this vampire wallpaper as well I just I'm gonna say it again but I'm so proud of the way that this hallway looks I'm actually really proud of the way that this entire home looks although we are gonna come into quite a big of a pickle when we actually start doing the downstairs floor plan because because of the way that I shaped uh, the hallway and that's the fact that the home is not as like wide or tall deep one of those like I couldn't really place a lot of rooms downstairs and Adam family have like big rooms and rooms with lots of stuff in it and I just I couldn't do that so we are having a lot of little rooms so we are having a pretty small living room pretty small kitchen a very tiny dining room and then we are gonna have a little greenhouse to the right side of the home because Morticia Adams um, she like does this stuff with plants and she's really into green although like they are dead plants but you know and we actually have a quite a uh, nice surprise there so Stay tuned for that, we are gonna have a surprise in the greenhouse, so hopefully I'll remember to actually uh, point out the surprise, because like it's pretty obvious, but you need to know it. And hopefully I'll remember to point it out when we actually get to the greenhouse. If I don't, um, I'm sorry. And if I do, hey, I remembered, that is good for me. So right now we are going to do the living room. And this living room... Um, it is very, very, very bright. I mean, bright. We are using whites, we are using pastels, like not really pastels, but like cream color. It is way too bright for the Adams family. The Adams family is a family that is known for their dark, darkness and dark side and using like the color of black. Black is everything. I love the color black, like if I... Oh no, it's not my favorite color. My favorite color is Tardis Blue. If you don't know that color, look it up. It is really, really a nice pretty. It's like um, those really deep blues, like the color of the TARDIS from Doctor Who. And it's absolutely one of my favorite colors. But next to that, uh, black, because black matches with everything, like literally everything. It just matches. I'm really, really happy with that black actually suits me because it doesn't matter like, um, what you're wearing with black. You could wear a black shirt with a white trousers. No one is gonna scream about it because it matches and I absolutely love it. I'm going back to the build. Anyway, so as you can see right now, um, there's a lot of white in this room. And we don't want that white because this is way, way, way too bright. And in a minute, um, don't worry, I'm actually gonna realize that and I'm like, hmm, this is not really the Adams Family style. This is more my style. Like, um, pretty dark floors and then light furniture. That is more like my own personal style. And I didn't realize it when I was actually building it, but at the moment I did. Okay, um, that is probably a very weird cut in the middle of this voiceover, but my parents just came upstairs very loudly talking, so I had to cut it out. I'm sorry if you could hear them in the background. I'm pretty sure that you could I'm, I'm sorry so like I was saying I realized here that it was actually way too bright so we are changing the color schemes to a little bit darker we're using more blacks and browns and I actually feel like this suits the entire room way 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 better than it did first and I'm really happy that I did change it in the end because it actually looks really nice and that of course is just my own humble opinion but I really like the way that it looks now we are just adding some more plants as a finishing touch and I think we are then going to move over to the kitchen if I remember correctly and the kitchen I had some trouble with the kitchen because my game crashed I think my game crashing has something to do with one of the mods I recently installed in my game 
and that automatically reminded me of the reasons that I actually never play with mods in my game because my game crashes. So I installed the uh, better build by mods and that is basic to organize a debug. It does help me to actually use debug more often, actually find stuff in that. So that's really good. The only downside is I think with a recent update that The Sims 4 had, it actually um, it throws it off and I think maybe I should re-download the mod and then see if it works again properly because sometimes I just get kicked out of my game. Which is really annoying if you've just decorated an entire kitchen and then you get kicked out so you have to do it again. Really annoying, I can't even begin to stress of how annoying it is. So anyways, we are using quite some debug items in this kitchen as well. Like we're not gonna overly use some debug items and just cluttering it up. But you know, it is pretty cluttered because the Adams family, I just feel like they're a family that are cluttered, like organized in the clutter, but they are cluttered. So that's why for this kitchen, we are actually going on that like level as well. And we are also going to use some of the Star Wars pack items. We have like this little weird decorations for the walls you will see it in a minute when i place it and i really don't know what it is but you know it's there it looks weird i think maybe they're like um inked fish or something i'm not quite sure like some sort of fish an octopus i'm not sure it looks really weird but we're using it because it looked weird and you know and i'm suddenly they're pretty weird I feel like the entire premise of this video is just me saying, you know, the Adam family is weird, so I place this object. But you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't have to go into detail or anything. You guys know. Um, what else can I talk about? Man, I really, I really can't talk that much about the build because um, I don't know. I just, I can't do it today, guys. Like, I need to record the voiceover, but I just, I can't be bothered to talk that much about the build because I think like it's pretty self-explanatory for what, for what is happening here oh yeah i did feel like we needed um like a cookbook so i placed this vampire object there because i feel like it was really fancy and kind of necessary and now we are coming over to this little weird hallway in between the kitchen and the, li and the dining room and i didn't quite know what to do with it because it was also the door to the outside so in the end i just decided to place a couch there a mirror and then some plants and his little uh, side table, actually from the spooky stuff pack. And I have to say, um, spooky stuff is really doing its justice in this month of October and the month of Halloween, which is pretty obvious because I think this pack actually came out the end of September. A few years ago, I think spooky stuff was one of our first uh, stuff packs. I'm not quite sure. Let me Google. Um, when did Spooky stuff came out of Sims 4. The October, ooh, September 2015, five years ago. Wow. So that was really one of the first stuff packs, the fourth stuff pack. I mean, I love spooky stuff. Like all the objects that you can have, I love it. Love, love, love it. And right now we are actually going to do the dining room. And that is when I discovered this vampire light, which I was actually looking for, but I couldn't find it. So, but now we did. And we will be using that in some of our other rooms as well. And like a little quirky thing of me, because we're in Forgotten Hollow, I thought it would be funny to add sunscreen um, actually to the builds. I did, I think I did it in the murder house as well, just add sunscreen because, you know, in Forgotten Hollow, the sun rarely shines. And I really thought it was quite funny, but that probably is just an inside thing. Here as well, we are using this worn out rug. Then we are also placing like one chair here with the light behind it, just so you can just sit there, watch the fire and sit in your chair and just chill. It is also uh, where we place this picture of Vlad because you know, Vlad will be honored in this Halloween month. Vlad is the great vampire and he comes into your home unwanted. But you know, that's all irrelevant. We must honor Vlad. <laughs> Actually, wait, I think I just said that my spooky uh, month started with the murder house, but that's not true. I built the vampire village. That was the first one for my spooky um, month for Spooktober. So we have three builds already, man. 
This is amazing. So here we are building the greenhouse because Morticia Adams actually has a greenhouse and it's uh, filled with uh, roses like without actually the petals but just the thorns and I think that's really funny and it's like this giant big moving plant so I decided to use the mother from Strangerville for that and just place her on the table and then make sure like you have all these plants just around it and surrounding it but that is like the boss plants and she commands all the other plants she also has like the boss of the plants outside was was the idea and I actually really like the way that this greenhouse turned out I feel like it's really uh, different, but I quite like it. Especially because we are also making like the floor stone. And I actually, I'm a fan of the way it turned out. I'm, I'm really loving it. And here we are moving over to the first floor and we're actually going to start with the bedrooms. Now, um, the Adam family, they have two children and in the Adam family values, that was the second movie, they actually get another kid. But I forgot what the name of that kid was. I, I honestly don't know but we are making um, we are not actually making rooms for the kids itself like I didn't have them in mind I just wanted to make some spooky rooms so I did imagine like uh, maybe like a boy living in here giving the posters on the wall and just the type of furniture and I really feel like that plant it gives like justice to the room because it makes it a little bit brighter but not as much we are going to use a bit, a little bit of a lighter swatch on the mirror because I felt like that wasn't necessary because it was, otherwise it was becoming pretty darn dark. And we don't want it that dark as well. I mean, like we like the darkness, but not that much. I also thought it was really funny with this fishbowl because the home that was in it, um, it actually reminded me very much of the home that the Adams family live in. And I actually thought it was pretty funny of them. Like one of the kids had like this fish tank with their own house in it. I quite enjoyed that. I thought it was really cleverly thought. I mean, and that's coming from me. We are also like cluttering up this build a little bit or like this room. So we are going to use like some of the baseball stuff and we're adding this like this armchair, which will be used as the chair. And I know that you've all known of the chair, like it's the chair where in the morning you put your uh, clothes on and when you are going like to bed uh, you, everything that's basically on your bed you put it on the chair and then in the morning you put everything on your bed again like that's that's basically it i also felt like adding some spider webs in there just um i don't know i just felt like that was the vibe and now we are moving over to what i initially imagined to be the master bedroom just this really grand room as, as that's why I also picked the red. Then we are using this very fancy season mirrors. And um, I have been using that quite a lot in my builds lately. But I just feel like it's so fancy and necessary. I love it. It is like really fancy. And like it can change with every time you uh, like you switch the swatch. The entire purpose of the mirror changes. So the black and white are really fancy. And then you also have like this weird gold swatch. And I feel like that's less fancy. And I actually really like it. Also, you will see me placing paintings throughout the entire build because I wanted um, to represent like the family members of the Adams family because they are feeling great on like family and family values. And I actually I wanted to incorporate that in the build, so we are placing a lot of paintings. Unfortunately, a lot of those paintings are also really expensive. So I think this build comes out at around 139,000 simoleons which is quite a lot I mean the murder house was 236 and this is 139 I think I'm not, um, now I'm doubting myself I don't really remember anymore anyway so it's not a starter home like definitely not but you know with a little um, mother load or some very honest gameplay who knows maybe you're that type of person that actually plays the same honest the sims honest and is not cheating i mean respect because i can never do that whenever i start with a starter home i just i get bored of it and i quit because i like i want money and i want a big home for this room we are making the office and the office is where um gomez adams 
and he like does his business and in one of the movies he actually has this really big fancy office and then behind one of the bookcases there is this um, room or hallway to a secret room like laying below it and I feel like that was um, I like the first move which is just the Adams family I'm getting so mixed up with my movies and everything and like I'm trying so hard to remember but I just can't and I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I just can't remember which is really weird because before I recorded this voiceover I was thinking okay what do I want to say I want to say this 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 and this and this and I remembered everything and now I just don't so who knows Ooh, yeah, fun fact, those swords, I added them because Martyshenko, Mass Adams, they usually, um, they like sword fighting, so I've gotta add that. I mean, that's like a kind of necessary evil in this build. And here we are, um, I mean, I noticed that the, the archways that I used from, and actually get famous, they were clipping through the roof, so obviously that needed to be fixed because we can't have that. I mean, you can't just have this random archway going through your, uh, like through your floor that's a little bit weird and here we are adding this little uh, nursery and I wanted the nursery to be spooky but also kind of cute and that was really difficult you will see me placing a lot of objects and then deciding against it again and it's just really it was work man it was really difficult to build a good toddler's room with like not really cute stuff because a lot of the stuff in the game is actually really really cute and we need more spooky stuff for kids. I mean, Sims team, anyone listening? I want a vampire pack for children. I mean, that's what I want. Maybe there, I could probably just download CC for that as well, but you know, I want like dark colors and dark everything. I want dark blocks. I want, I want the, my kids to be able to play with black blocks. That's what I want. That's all I want. Also, painting wise, I really didn't know what I needed to place in there because all the children paintings, they are so cute and I kind of really just wanted some creepy paintings, but I couldn't really find them. So, you know, that was kind of disappointing. And now we are going into the last bedroom and the last bedroom I imagined uh, to be kind of like a teen bedroom. And we are going to use the Realm of Magic bed. And I actually, I feel like it's really fitting for the room. And I feel like this, um, maybe one of my favorite rooms in the entire build, like bedroom wise, because it has like a l everything you need or a lot that you need. It's cute, but it's also like creepy. And I just really like the way it's laid out. I love, I love it works. I love it. And it might also have something to do with the fact there is a guitar and I'm like a guitar player as well. And I love guitar and I love music. So, you know, also that mirror trick, what I did there, I mean like trick not really a trick just placing mirrors i really like the way um it looks i think or at least i think it looks really fancy and i'm really quite into it and again here we are also placing a chair and you know when i say a chair i mean the chair so guys i think we are almost about at the end of our voiceover yeah the video is about to end we're about to enter the screenshots but before we do guys Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed it, you can also hit that bell icon so you get notified when my next video goes up. And maybe you even want to share it with your friends. And remember, if you have like a uh, idea for a spooky build, make sure you comment it down below so I can build it. And I hope to see you guys on the next episode. And bye guys.